Hello and welcome back to this blind let's play of Earthbound with me SLJRPG. In the last episode, we tackled the cultists of Happy Happy Village and received the key to unlock a uh, good old Paula from her encasement, so let's go do that now. And then I'm guessing we will have to be tackling your sanctuary, which I think will be over by this gentleman over here. But let us, without further ado, make our way through. Can I just tackle this out one on one? I can! Oh, spiteful crow. No. Thought I could. But game tame. Okay. Maybe the crows just always did, but I thought if you were over a certain amount it it didn't um it didn't count towards anything. But there you go. Evidently I am wrong. I'm excited here, I think we're about to acquire our Um acquire our second character. Which hopefully means more inventory spots. <laughs> Let us use the key to the cabin. Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that's actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. And we have gained Paula. Paula joined you. She has a teddy bear as well, which is very good. And yes, we finally get more, more fangs. And then let's look at the equipment. So we got Ness here. Paula's got no weapons or anything. So I think I am going to go buy some stuff to make sure that she's all healed up. But let's have a gander at her right now. Bash the spiteful crow. She's got Psy Freeze, so she's got elemental attacks. Oh, they do a lot of damage. We'll just bash for now. We won, and then we should have a look at Paula's. Uh, there was a cookie. Ness took it. That's fine. We should take a quick gander. Oh. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. The Hasidic Jew. Look at the camera. Is it fuzzy pickles? It is. I am confused about that dynamic. I'm not going to lie. We also the crows appeared in that one. Uh, should we take on those crows? I want to see if there's a butterfly floating around. No. Okay, let's head. First and foremost, let's equip old Paula here with some new gear. We'll see how much it all costs. Nice. Let's just see what else there is. We should try and get... Let's get her a copper bracelet. Let's use some of our well-earned money. I'm not sure if there's a romantic element to this game. It would seem a bit weird seeing as they're meant to be quite young. But we have all the money in the world, so... Let's take five, four, six. I'm not sure why it has the uh, the money, the zero zero, because we don't seem to have any of that. Let's buy a copper bracelet. It will be... I 
I couldn't see anywhere to buy uh, healing items here, unfortunately. I mean, there's this stuff. Stole all the fruit from the food stand. Fuck you, Pokey. Causing drama along the way. Right. Let us make our way back to Tucson. I'm going to keep us, keep you guys with us for this section just so we can see a bit of Paula. But also, more importantly, ooh, we should check her status. She's level 1. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to level her up a bit. But just in case something happens as well along the way, I think it would be handy. There's going to be some trees here which are going to cause her a lot of trouble. We can outrun them. And if we go to a different frame, I believe they disappear. Or I hope they disappear. They do. But there's a magic butterfly. Let's get the magic butterfly and then we'll go back and take on that robot thing. Come on. Have the enemies just disappeared completely? I mean, it's handy, but I don't know. <laughs> Kinda wanna level Paula up. I got distracted by the pretty thing. The next thing that isn't a tree will definitely be getting. Which way was it? Which way am I meant to go? <laughs> Have I forgotten? Down and round here. Ah, here we go. And this bridge is healed now. <sighs> okay. So if this takes us to Tucson pretty quickly. There's another butterfly. See, there's a gentleman there. Why is there no enemies? Give it to me. Here we go. There's one. Oh, there's a, there's a missed present. So, spinning robo. We're going to bash. And then we're going to use freeze. Let's go to cold. But that should not be an issue. We won. Level now two. Went up by two. Level is now three. Nicely done. She's going to get a hole. Realise the power of fire. Level 4. We're getting a whole bunch of things. <laughs> okay, what I might do then is let's go get this treasure chest. And then I might just run around with Paula here and try and gain some levels. So what have we got here? There is a bomb. Okay. Don't know whether that's a good idea or not. What we will do though is we will use this on Paula. So yeah, I'm going to go do some leveling up and I'll see you guys in a moment. So we're back here. I got Paula up to level 11. I think that was right. 10, sorry. Uh, but she has now got a, some... Fire, Freeze, and Thunder Psy Magics, and a Shield as well. Um, I did die a couple of times, I'm not going to lie. She was incredibly weak. But, let's make our way back to Tucson. Uh, I thought it was good to get some levels on her. Blue, blue, blue. Oops, I won't say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of an apology. I'm just trying to help. There you go. I'll show you some of these moves right now. Actually, let's not do it on this one, because these are fairly simple. With... With Bash, we can pretty much get get rid of these Sproutlings now. I'm surprised they're not just dying instantaneously. Um, but there you go. 67 experience each. Fun, fun, fun. Give me that UFO. So what we'll do is we'll do... 
we will bash the sprout and we shall use the thunder on the UFO. Her physical attacks are obviously awful. Oh, come on! <laughs> God damn it, colds. I've also been receiving all the colds. And I say her physical attacks aren't great, and then she hits 71 damage. Typical. Um, um, she is now level 11. All of these will help. Is she going to learn a new skill? Yep, the power of freeze too. Very handy. I thought it was worth taking a little bit of time and kind of helping get her back up. You know, we don't want life up. We want healing and we want it to pull her. Yeah, we did die a couple of times to the awful trees. The trees of death. <laughs> but a lot worse things could happen. But we need to, one, go see the leader of Burglar Square. We should also go visit in at Paula's parents, I believe, is probably the best course of action. As we try and take on everyone. I'll see if I can show you the side move now. Yes, we know. Let's bash one. Let us. You guys haven't seen fire. We'll do fire. Fire hits a row of enemies, 69, 76. And then Thunder hits one, but it's incredibly strong. But we're just going to bash this time, because let's not waste PP. And then will this level up, Paula? No. She gained like five levels after a couple of fights. <laughs> right, to Tucson we go. Well, we're actually going to face a mushroom for the first time in a while. Let's show you Thunder. We can always heal afterwards. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I've got mushroom head. God damn it. I want to try something with the mushroom head thing. I know that we can go get it healed in the doctors, but I am going to go check with the mushroom lady the other side of this bridge. I'll see you in a sec. Not bridge, cave, cave. <laughs> yeah, so this happened with the mushroom thing. It, it It's like a confusion and I ended up attacking myself. So I will now see you again at Tucson, but fuck it, it's leveling up, right? Right, my thought process was this girl is collecting mushrooms, therefore if we were mushroomized, she would take the mushrooms from us. If we get mushrooms again, I'm just going to go to the sanctuary. <laughs> if I'm honest, like, I'm not sanctuary, sorry. The hospital. Not again. Not after that embarrassment. Uh, right. Let's do a fire. Nice, and then this should take out both of these. Paula coming through with that dank. Are you going to level up? No. I desperately want her to get gain levels. <laughs> right. So frustrating. I was so like, oh, that's such a clever move. You've thought it out. But it may not even be the case. But fuck it. Right, let's make our way. I'm avoiding you, Mushroom, for now. Or am I? Should I go back? I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to show you it out of embarrassment if I uh, end up having to go back again. See you in a sec. Or, oh! They've disappeared. All good. All right, fuck you, mushrooms. You will not get the best of me. Bash them. Sci-fire. Revenge. We can get the PP back at another point. How awful. Yes, and there we go. There's a level up. Went up by five. PP went up by one. We need you to gain some levels, my dear. Right. 
let's head over to the burglar park first and then we'll go to the school. It might be worth going and talking to everyone again. First, you must take it to her parents. They're really worried. I also have something to give you, so be sure to come back here. Promise? Alright. Okay. I mean, you're more important to me. <laughs> but that's fine. Let's go back to Paula's parents. With the cat on top. Yo, I knew it. You sick Paula, I didn't really understand it. But I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up against any challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. I know, I'll call it hand-aid. Ness got a hand-aid. Did you meet Dad? He saw that he suspected Mr. Everett of Burglin Park. Okay, so it's just a hand aid. It's just. Oh, Paula! Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world, like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you'll be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In three to the next town, we'll meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry. I won't cry anymore. Is <laughs> he following us? Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry. I won't cry anymore. Okay. Let's see if there's anything in here now. No. Nothing we haven't got already. Let's go speak to Mr. Berglin. It seems we're going to have to go to Tucson. Should I go back to the other place then? I don't know. No, let's go to Berglin and then go... Ooh. Hello, Ness. Everage is looking for you. He's got something for you. I know. I was literally with him like five seconds ago. <laughs> Again, music's amazing. I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept it, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for those evil many, many statues. That Lyrax exaggerator unearthed and on it. I'll see you at another time in another space. Let's go a lot of bills. Interesting. Why do we need a wad of bills? I mean, we could try and take the bus now. I'm thinking about catching a bus to Threed. I heard there are ghosts along the way. I wonder if the bus will have turn around and come back. Let's give it a shot. If it does, then we'll head back. Now... That feels like there's something I need to do with those ward of bills. Either way, let's go speak to Mr. Orange. And see if there's anything going on there.
I found a problem one of Einstein's theories. Okay. You're not very helpful at all. Apple Kid is the true genius. But he's not here either. Oh! But there is a trash can. There's a trash can. Let's get the trash can. As we climbed in through the window. We got a broken machine. We did speak to someone about a broken machine. Ugh, okay. Someone's mentioned something about a broken machine. Was it here in one of these houses? Can we just walk all the way down here? Is that a thing? Can I not talk to Paula even though she's in my party? Well, there's a present there that I've seen, so we'll definitely be taking that. Paula takes a skip sandwich. Let's fight the hippie. Very simple. What do I do? I feels like I'm very far away. Some groom tunes and the ghost moved slower. I think the ghost can't stand anything past it. Two, three, tunnel. This might be an incredibly bad idea. Woo, woo! Go back, go back! We're not gonna listen. Woo woo! <laughs> okay. We're not given an option. <laughs> That's good to know. Let's do some exploring up this way. I don't know what to do next. So we've been to speak to Mr. Water of Bills. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. I've got a wood of bills. But that's not really... I don't know what I'm going to use for them. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... We're going to go explore that cave. Fuck it, let's go explore that cave. I'll see you guys at the cave <laughs> in a second. Right, we're back here. I don't know what else to do in Tucson. I can't think... We've got a lot of bills, but we can't seem to exchange it for money, but I'm sure there's something. But we didn't expl explore here. I'm thinking maybe we have to give that bills to someone no! to get through. No! Oh, one second, I think the dog heard the no! sound of the cave. <laughs> yeah, I think she can hear the sounds of the cave and then it's getting freaked out. Uh, I'll let you. I'll show you this next fight <laughs> against the mole. Oh, she's having some water now, it's all good. <laughs> right, bash it, bash it. I realise I haven't got any, um... I realise we haven't got any, uh... Oh, nice crit. We haven't got any healing items. But we do have Nez now. Seeing as we have Paula on full attack, Nez can use all of his PP on healing. So that is my plan. Um, going forward. 
do these bones mean something? No, there are a lot of dead people here though. Bats. Let's let's fight some bats. Let's see how it goes. We got the jump. Mr. Batty. I'm going to attack, but then I'm actually going to use fire because they're all in a row. And that should be enough for one. Yes, it is. Nice. He became affectionate. Very confused. There we go. Apparently they can become affectionate, who knew? 40, 456 XP each. Is there a present down here? There is. Open the present, there is a great charm inside. I'm going to give it to Paula. She definitely needs more defense right now than anyone. As we'll fight against these three. We'll explore this cave. And then the liberty of me recording this so that I can go back and look at myself. Uh, look for myself if there was anything that uh, I might have missed or that's not coming to me right now which is why recording your your gameplay is always very very good um, <laughs> there might be some use for money that I completely forgotten but we shall see but I might just be on the right path I'm doubting myself too much now it's always the case with these games I could go to the hint guy but I really want to avoid doing that I'd rather spew through what I've got before then do the hint. <laughs> cool. And this level is now 22. Realize the power of Rockin' B. Polo is now also leveled up to level 3. 13, sorry. If all else, this is getting us to know Paula. She's certainly getting some good spells. But let's head more into whatever this place is called. We just managed to dodge that. <laughs> Let's bash. Oh! Come through. I also like the idea of Paula wielding a frying pan as a weapon, which is currently what she's got equipped. <laughs> I like the use of like ordinary objects somewhat as a uh, as a weapon thing. Oh, we could actually dodge those bats. Let's not go up here. I'm going to take them on. Let's try up here first. I mean, if all else, this is, yeah, just a, a levelling up experience. Get all the levels, and we've definitely proceeded somewhere in the story. I just can't figure out for the life of me where a water cache might be useful. We need to get to Threed, which seems to be the general idea. What is in here? Let's open the present. There is a croissant inside. Nice. I will always take the sustenance. I am really curious about this thing that I can see in the distance over here. Where is it? There was like a... There's a bigger monster that I saw down here. It might have disappeared by now, but there you go. Right. So, it was around this way, which we haven't been... As we explore the cave. This thing. This thing feels like it's going to be powerful. So if I do, I want to get a, the jump on it, really. Not going to work. <laughs> okay, what are you? The mighty bear. We're going to bash. And then we're also going to use our new big attack. Oh, 
Nice. I'll take that. I would use that on the trees. There was a teddy bear. That's a very good thing. As we get ourselves a teddy bear. Um, yeah, I would use uh, that on the trees, but they die anyway. Let's go jump on you. Uh, we've got a teddy bear in storage as well. I might definitely bring that along to something next time. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Luckily, I checked in the... Um, in the inn, in the in Happy Happy Village, we actually get to stay there for free, so it's like a free source of uh, of of healing, which is always very handy. Now, is there anything around here worth looking for? Some more bats. We can outrun the bat, I think. No, okay, we can't. Okay, fuck it. So, we evidently have to go up here. I'll show you guys this one. Uh, Paula just learned Psy Magnet. Oh, I should be careful with this, but... Fuck it, I just wanna... These things had one hit me and it was 70 and I'm just not ready... I'm not okay with that, right? <laughs> I'm not okay. And before we evidently get into a... That is, I should put some of this stuff back. I could use the Escar Express when I get out of this cave, I reckon. There's a mole here. Oh, I see a present. This is going to bring us out to here. Open the present. There is a Psy Caramel inside. Ooh. Does that heal PP points? Because if that does... Oh! Glorious. It's exactly what we wanted. I'll fight this thing. So we need to find some sort of sweet shop is what I'm gathering. Um... Because that must be where they sell this item. Uh, we're just going to do a small freeze. Because that won't even tame it, but this might. Yes, there we go. So I definitely need to stock up on some of those healing items. Ah, there we go. That's a your sanctuary thing. Fuck it, let's go. You finally got here. This is my second Your Sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Right. A Mundo Mole. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bash. You know we're using this. 19! Holy fuck. We'll do that. Oh, Grim. Okay, maybe we needed to think about this a little bit better. What we can do is we can heal up here. And then still, we'll use this. At least with Ness doing this. And they're being freeze on here. Bollocks, I haven't got enough PP though. Oh god. We're gonna use this. Oh, fucking dickhead's got it. Pray. Nice. What I'm going to try with is this. 
and then we'll pray again <laughs> and hopefully we get a little bit of PP yes that's what we want 76 damage oh no 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 it's alright we can use life up then we can use with what little one she has do a freeze Oh, he recovered a shit ton of HP. But we can just bash now. And we'll pray with Paula. Come on. 11 HP. Oh, God damn it. She's not going to survive that. Fuck. Okay. Let's just pray. Pray to the gods. That's fine. That's fine. We'll do we'll do heal up next time. I feel like I'm going to lose out on all of the XP for Paul here, which isn't good. Bash. Oh, crit. Oh, I'm sorry, Paula. That would have been really good for you. That would have been so good for you. Holy fuck. I'm so sorry, Paula. Oh, God, no. Now we've got a ghost, Paula. Oh, it heals her. Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the Lilliput steps. Okay. And is... She's back with us. Okay. I think on that note, I'm going to go re-watch some of the odd ones, see if I can figure out what to do with this ward of money. But we have now got our second Your Sanctuary location that I almost completely missed, to be fair. Uh, and I will see you next time. Please like and subscribe if you like it. Peace.